No, I don't know what's going on. I, gotta, I need to call my mom. I, need, I guess I should call the restaurant. I don't even know if it's okay to fly. What if all your go-to places were gone? If you had told me that, that your restaurant would be closed down, I would have said, you know what, I don't buy it. I got so nervous for all my friends in this business. Yep, I need to go see all my people. You know, we did national shipping. We did delivery. We did takeout. We did state care packages. We literally try to do everything in our power to stay alive. But that's just not enough. It has been one of the most distracting, mentally hijacking, emotionally trying. You hear the news, you don't know what to believe. You know, is this COVID thing spiking? I have young kids and you cannot share with them the kind of darkness that you feel. Some important developments in our war against the Chinese virus. Why does he keep saying that? Some remarks from the president just destroyed a lot of the businesses. And it pisses me off that I've been in circumstances in restaurants where these conversations can't. come up and people are like, oh, it's not that bad. What are you talking about? It's not bad. Like, what world do you live in? Hundreds of years of oppression on top of a global pandemic. And what does that look like? It looked like bad. What's normal? Do you really want to go back? This is a dress rehearsal for climate change. I, mean, I, I shortened my life opening this restaurant. I'm sorry for your loss. Thank you. Is this the beginning of something crumbling or is it something that's gonna strengthen? I can't sit here and watch the whole industry fall off of a cliff. Mm -hmm.